we're Jordan Mary and welcome to our YouTube channel. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell for all our notifications. In today's video, we are going to be showing you our top eight essential things that you need to pack ready for your travels. So this is our number one, it's a waterproof bag. You roll it three times and then do the buckles up at the top and it makes it waterproof. We use this constantly in Thailand and Bali because you can never predict the weather. And also it's really good for any water activities that you do or boat trips. So when we go on, even on like a yeah, cruise or a fast boat, we pack our bags but we put all our essentials, camera gear, phones, money, etc. in this bag because you don't know how they handle your bag and there's a lot of times we've seen a bag actually fall into the water. So this is definitely a must. You can get them in all different sizes and colours. This one's a 10 litre bag. You can obviously, like you just said, get it bigger than that. We personally probably would recommend you getting it a little bit bigger than that. Although this one has done us, but when we get a new one, we'll be getting a bigger size. Especially if you've got more camera gear than us, or you know, you've got more essential items that you ever want to get wet, then definitely a bigger one. But this is fine for us at the moment. This was a cheap price. I got it off Amazon before we left on our first time going travelling. Um, so that was over a year and a half ago yeah, now. So it's really elastic because we use it every single day without fail, whether it's raining or not, you've never ever known what's No, the weather can change like that, so it's good to have. We will be linking this item along with all the others down below, so make sure you check them out. So our second item are these little packing cubes. These are so, so handy. You get different sizes, which we will show you, and in each a size you can put like your shorts in one, your tops in another, your dresses in another. So then when you're only in a hotel for one night, you only really have to pull out one bag. It is so, so good. So a year ago we went travelling, we didn't have these and now a year later we have them. I 100% recommend these, they're amazing. It saves so much time as well. Like I say, if we ever get to a hotel and we need to empty our bag to put all our electrics in or what have you to lock up, we just literally just rip out the three bags and then that's it, done. So we've got the medium size here, there's a small size as well, and the large size as well. Now we're using small, medium and large. These are Amazon Basics that I think are about 15 pounds from Amazon. And but that's for the whole set, that's not for the full pounds, set. just one. And there's also another size, we're just gonna grab that now. Which is like a long size, which we could use for, I mean, we use it for cables and stuff, but you could probably use it for socks and stuff like that. Socks, stickers, boxes. These are amazing and are literally a must. If you haven't tried them out, then I definitely recommend using them. They're so good. So next on our list is this quick drying microfiber towel. Please, you said it right. <laughs> that is a mouthful. So, wow, these have been a massive saviour for us. Yep. Especially if you like water bathers like we are, we're always in the water. These dry you and they dry themselves super, super quick, like. Almost instantly, I'm sorry. Yeah. Say. Instead of having like obviously when you've got a flight and you're chilling in the pool before you fly you then have to put your wet towel in the bag but these are dry within like minutes minutes we got the extra large size um obviously one each mayor's got a purple i've got a blue they are really good to use and they are a lot better than the wall ones because they don't smell so you can get away with um, just using them constantly like we do they also come in a little bag that has a little clip on it so you can hook it onto the outside of your rucksack so it doesn't take up any room inside of your bag which is what every traveller needs because you never have like room, you always need spare space so definitely definitely get one of these towels, it is a must. So next up we've got item number four, this is a universal adapter, it's not just your normal one, it does USB charging as well at the bottom which is really handy for us, so you can put your phone in, cameras anything like that, it's really handy. It comes with worldwide adaptions, so you just push them in and they come out, um, so it's really handy. This was on Amazon as well, and it's a really, really handy piece of kit, and it's solidly made as well. Item number five is a rucksack rain cover. When we went to the Philippines, it was classed as rainy season, so we this was a must. We needed one of these because we have all our camera gear and stuff like that, and when we're traveling from place to place, we do leave it in our bags and not in the waterproof bag. So this is just so handy, especially when there's two of you on one bike with so many different bags. You don't want to be separating them all. So this actually goes on the outside of your rucksack and uh, you can get all different sizes. This is a 35 to a 50 litre. Because our bags are 40 litres, so they always recommend you get the size 
or if you can do, because obviously the size down will be too tight. The bag itself is actually the cover, so you'll never lose the bag. Once you unreal it, it's the bag as well, so it's really handy that is, and it's a compact little thing as well. And also you can clip it to the outside of your rucksack along with the towel, so it takes no room inside of the rucksack, but if it did, I mean, it's tiny, so you could get away with that. This was super cheap, again, we'll link it below for you. Item number six is an extension lead. We use this all the time with the adapter. It's just handy for if you've got plugs, so you don't have to have multiple adapters. We just use the one adapter, makes it lighter for carrying, and yeah, we just use that, and it was a couple of quid, so happy days. I think it's a must, especially when there's two of you and loads of camera, camera equipment, two phones. There's just so many different things that you need to charge. Um, so with this, it's no hassle, no arguments. We can just charge everything in a night or in a day, so it's really good. Art number seven is a really, really little one, but not many people would think of it. It's a waterproof watch. Now, most people would rely on your phones and whatnot, but when it's raining, you can't get your phone out. And nine times out of ten, you've got it stashed away in your bag. So, a waterproof watch is a must. Now, I personally use G-Shock, and they are robust as anything, and they're used by the army. And I've had this one three or four years, and it's lasted me a long, long time. So, definitely worthwhile getting a waterproof watch. Again, the boat trips or water activities, um, they give, they say you've got half an hour in this spot or when you're in the water, you don't know what half an hour is. So having one of these is just amazing. And obviously it's on your wrist again, no room is taken, 100% recommend it. There's a lot of brands out there that you can get and you can use. This is just our personal favorite or Jordan's personal favorite. You will wear them G-Shots handy, so. When this one breaks, I would definitely go down and buy another one the same day. So that's how handy they are. Obviously they're not like super super cheap but Yeah your money's worth, I've had a hundred times over so definitely worth a while. So last but not least is the number eight item on our list and it is our rucksack. This is probably the most important item that we've got on the whole trip. These are Osprey fast ones, 40 litres, so that means you can carry them on and duck check them in, which is something that's a real bonus because that's where they get you the cheap airlines. They give you the cheap tickets, but then you have to book on extra baggage. Whereas we've literally travelled hand luggage only and it saves us so much time and money as well. So these bags have rip stop material. They're about £70 but it will be the best £70 you ever spend. So far this bag's just been so amazing. We literally cram everything into them where like with a normal bag you would be busting the zip because you're squeezing so much in. But these ones they do take a minute to zip up because you've got all your stuff in there but it's 100% worth it. Like we had just normal rucksacks last time and we definitely tell the difference with these. These have good sponging, good supports and also Osprey comes with a lifetime warranty against anything so if anything was to happen like the zips or whatnot you could send them off. As well, it comes with a strap, so if you prefer like your carry-on, uh, duffel bag style things, they are handy for that. When we go to the airport, we tend to pack up the straps and not actually have them out. Like this. Like that, and they have a zip-up compartment which you can undo. So all you have to do is undo the back compartment with the zips, roll it up, use the Velcro strap at the bottom and tuck it in, and then there's your straps. It's so handy when you're tucking it into airport luggage compartments on a plane, because they always get caught. And there you go, just like that. So that was our top eight essential things that you need to pack ready for your travels. If you like this video, then make sure you click subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications, as we are posting every day at six o'clock. Everything that we have mentioned within this video will be linked below, so make sure you're clicking on them links to check out all the items that we've got. And uh, This is not an ad, we're not being paid for any of this. This is just our top eight guide for you guys really to help you so we're jordan mary thank you for watching this video and we'll see you guys tomorrow hi guys i'm jules and i'm mary and oh. together we are no, no. jordan mary <laughs> i'm not having that <laughs> but... not some dodgy boy man <laughs> well you can't sing so right <coughs> so we've been jordan and mary we've been <laughs> <laughs> so we're so we're Jordan Mayor. Thank you for what Mayor. Who's Mayor? <laughs> You're a f***ing Mayor. Right.